Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter one, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Um, so when we are doing these, we need to make sure that we use PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which is just parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, whichever comes first going left to right, and addition and subtraction, whichever comes first going left to right. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do here is our parentheses. So we're going to do these guys. Okay, now 7 is the same thing as 5 plus 2. So if I do 68 plus 2, I get to 70. Add another 5, that's 75. So now I'm going to rewrite what I had and putting in the 75. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write it one above the other vertically because it's really hard to add when they're sideways. So 3 plus 5 is 8, 9 plus 7 is 16. Your answer is 168. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do number 3. So we have multiplication. So here's the thing, multiplication you can do in any order as long as all of your signs are multiplication you can do that in any order. So I'm going to do 5 times 2 first which I know is 10. So now I have 23 times 10. Well here's the really cool part about multiplying by 10. You get to take that 0 and just pop it onto the end of the other number. Your answer is 230. Okay? All right, so you guys are going to go ahead and do through number six. You totally can. I believe in you. And we're going to go down and do number seven. Okay, so number seven, we have parentheses, so we need to do that. Okay, so, okay, so it wants us to fill in the blank. So what number is missing from the side of the equal sign? This, we have three, ten, and eight. Here over here, we have ten and eight. I'm missing my 3. I'm going to fill it in with a 3. Okay? Now, the properties are the associative, which is what this guy is, because we have the same numbers, and they're even in the same order, but the parentheses have moved. So here's how I remember my properties. Okay? Um, associative properties is who you associate with. Okay? So today, the 10 wanted to associate with the 3. Tomorrow, the 10 wanted to associate with the 8. So today, the 3 is its friend. Tomorrow, the 8 is its friend. Okay? So it's who you associate with. So that is the associative property of multiplication. Okay? So now I'm going to show you another property, okay? So this one says 16 plus 31 equals 31 plus, well, 16 is the other number here, okay? Now, when you commute to work, to school, whatever, it means that you leave one place and you go to another place, okay? But they're the same places, okay? So maybe you left home and went to school and then after school you go from school and you go home okay you've commuted both ways okay commuted is when you go somewhere else okay so this is the commutative property and the easy part is just looking at the sign the sign is addition so of addition okay so Here's another property. Zero plus what equals 91? Well, that is 91. Zero plus 91 is 91. That is called the identity property. Because the zero did not change the identity of the 91. Okay? And this is of addition. Okay, so when you're doing identity property, if it's of addition, it's going to be a plus zero. If it's of multiplication, it's going to be multiplied by one. If I had one times 91, that would still be 91, but it would be multiplying. Okay, so you guys go ahead and do number 10. You guys can totally do that. Look at some of the others for an example. 
and we're going to go down and do number 11. Number 11 says the Metro Theater has 20 rows of seats with 18 seats in each row. The tickets cost $5. The theater's income in dollars, if all the seats are sold, is 20 times 18 times 5. Use the properties to find the total income. So I have 20 times 18 times 5. Okay, now I right now have this, the parentheses around 20 times 18. However, if I did 20 times 5, which means I would have 20 times 5 times 18 instead, same numbers, different order, and my parentheses are in different places, okay? But 20 times 5, well, 2 times 5 is 10, and then I have an extra 0 to put on, times 18, okay? So this is now my new problem, okay? Here's the really stinking cool thing about multiplying by 10s and 100s, any number that starts with a 1 and has zeros after it. This has 1, 2 zeros, so I'm going to write my 18, and then I'm going to put 1, 2 zeros on the end. Okay, and it's, this is their total income, so our label is going to be a dollar sign. Okay, we're going to go over to number 12. And it says the numbers of students at the four sixth grade classes in Northside School are 26, 19, 34, and 21. Use properties to find the total number of students in the four classes. So we have 26 plus 19 plus 34 plus 21, okay? Now, I am going to look at the last numbers in each one of these problems. So I'm going to underline my 6, my 9, my 4, and my 1, okay? Because I know that 6 and 4 are 10, okay? So if I have 2 plus 3, that's 5, plus the, the extra 10 that the 6 and the 4 make, that's going to be 6. So now I'm going to have 60, and I don't have to deal with those two anymore. Now, I also know that 9 plus 1 is 10. So, I'm going to say 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 2 more 10s is 3 10s, plus 1 more 10 is 4 10s, well, that's 40. So, 60 plus 40, well, 6 plus 4 is 10, and then I'm going to put the extra 0 on the end. Okay, so 100, and we're going to label that students. Okay, all right, we're going to go over onto the back where you guys can do the lesson check, just like always. We're going to go down and do the spiral review. Spiral review says, the average sunflower has 34 petals. What is the best estimate of the total number of petals on 57 flowers? So, I have 57 times 34, but we need to round those. So 57, remember if it's 5 or bigger, then it goes up, so that's going to round to 60. And 34, 4 is less than 5, so it's going to stay 30. Okay? Now, again, we're multiplying with zeros, which means that I get to take those zeros and just pop them onto the end. And then 3 times 6 is 18, 1,800 petals. Okay, number four, a golden eagle flies a distance of 290 miles in five days. If the eagle flies the same distance each day of the journey, how far does the eagle fly per day? Well, he flies 290 miles, and he does that in five days. So, let's do some math. Five is not going to go into two, so I'm going to put my placeholder. Five goes into 29 five times, which is 25. I'm going to subtract, I get 4 left over. Now, I'm going to bring down my 0. Now, 5 goes into 40 8 times, which is 40. I subtract, I get nothing. So now, 58 miles per day. We're going to go ahead and do number five. It says, what is the value of the underlined digit? Well, the underlined digit is an eight. 
And then I have 